welcome back to the channel. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for uh, clicking on my video. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back for another video. And if you're a new subscriber, um, thanks so much for checking out my video. Uh, so today I wanted, oh, first off, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support this week um, for the BCL. Um, this was my week to be featured. I was one of the featured people this week for the budgeting community link um, that Budgeting April put together. And I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support. I have gotten so many new subscribers this week. Um, so thank you guys for coming over and checking out my channel. Um, I've been able to see my watch hours go up. Thank you guys so much for going through and just watching my videos, um, commenting, and thank you guys so much. So many of you guys have gave shout outs to my channel this week, and I just want to thank you so, so much for all your support. And then I um, also want to do the shout outs, the other shout outs for this week. Um, so the other budgeters that are featured this week in the BCL are Save With T. So I've been watching her channel for um, several months, um, but she is a Canadian cash stuffer. So she has that really, really pretty money that we all like to watch people's stuff. Uh, but she does cash stuffing, she does budget with me, and she also has an Etsy store. So if you haven't checked out her channel, go check her out. Um, the second channel this week is My Money Diary. And I've been subscribed to her channel for a little while also. Um, but she does cash stuffing. She does sinking funds. She does savings challenges. Um, so she has some really good content on her channel as well. And then the third one this week, and I hope I'm saying her name right, um, Tista Coleman. So she is a new channel to me this week. I have not followed her um, before this week. I was able to go over and um, check out her channel. So she does have some really good content. Um, it looks like on her channel that she posts maybe just like a couple times a month. Um, but she does budget with me. She does savings challenges. Um, so she also has some really good content. So go check her out as well. All right, so today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing um, a cash exchange. So what that is, if you're new to that, um, basically I'm gonna go through my envelopes, my sinking funds, and if I have any like small denominations that I can pull out and put a 20 in, instead I'm gonna go through and do that. Um, so it just helps with, um, Sometimes your envelopes get a little bulky with, with like, if you've got a whole bunch of ones in there, you know, your envelope gets too full. Um, so it's good every once in a while to go through and just kind of trade out those bills. Um, so I do have, let's see, I've got mostly 20s. I, this is just for my cash, stuff, cash stuffing this week. Um, so I just went ahead, I'm going to go through and do the bill exchange and then I'll have this money for my cash stuffing as well. Um, so hopefully... I'm able to go through and pull some of those smaller bills out. Um, and I also kind of wanted to share with you guys a little bit more about me this week. Um, I go on here and I talk a lot about our finances, but I don't share a whole lot um, about me or my family. So I kind of want to do that today. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll get started. And I'll just kind of talk to you guys while I go through and do our cash exchange. So, and I'm not gonna count all these um, because I'll, I'll count them when I do my um, Thursday stuffing or my game night. Um, so I'm not gonna count everything, but I'm gonna go through and just see if I have smaller bills that I can trade out. So, all right, so this is the, our medical envelope and it looks like it's got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out and I'll add this 10 in there. And hopefully we can just um, make everything a little bit slimmer as far as our envelopes go. And I've mentioned this before, I prefer to put 20s in my envelopes. I know a lot of people will cash out for like hundreds and fifties. I do have some hundreds, um, but I just prefer to keep my money in 20s um, just because whenever I go to um, spend them places, you know, stores don't really like to take the hundreds and the fifties. They prefer 20s, so it just works better for me that way. 
All right, so home has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a five. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out these five ones, two, three, four, five, and I'll put a five in there. And let's see, I could put a 10, but I don't have a 10. Um, so I'll put this to the side, and that way if I end up getting a 10, um, I can come back to it. So I'll just kind of put this off to the side and know that I need to come back to that one. Okay, so um, I wanted to kind of share with you guys um, just a little bit about me. My name is Alicia. Um, I've been on YouTube since January of this year. So January of 2022 is when I started this channel. Um, so I'm married. I've been married to my husband for almost 16 years. Um, we have two girls. Um, we have uh, our older daughter is 14 and our younger daughter is 7. Um, so I started the cash envelope method in like 2019, towards the end of 2019. Um, let's see, I don't have anything I can trade this out for yet. So I'll just go ahead and move on from that one. Um, so I started the cash envelope method in 2019, um, like the end of 2019. That is around the same time that we, um, paid off our last credit card. I can't remember if we paid it off like the end of um, 2019 or it was like the beginning of 2020, somewhere in that time frame. Um, so we paid off all of our credit card debt. Uh, we do still have, we still have a car payment. Um, that is our only debt that we have right now. Um, but I, um, I really started watching like the Dave Ramsey thing and I was kind of um, just kind of following the Dave Ramsey baby steps I guess for a while. Um, I don't really, I don't agree with necessarily everything that he teaches. Um, like I know he says save up your like thousand dollar emergency fund and then um, then you pay down all of your debt. Um, for us, we would rather have like money in the bank. Um, so I do have a good amount of money in the bank and I do have enough money that I could pay off our car. Um, but we just prefer to kind of keep that money in case we need it. Um, I understand that we're probably, you know, we're paying more towards our car because we are paying interest, but that is just, uh, what works for us. I also know that he teaches, you know, you don't use credit cards at all, cut them up, throw them away. Um, we do use credit cards. We use our credit card and we pay it off every month and that works for us. So it's just kind of, um, that's kind of what has worked for us. Um, nothing against that method. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, but that just, that's just, it doesn't work for us. Um, so that's what we do in our family. Um, so yeah, I started this channel in January of 2020 and our only debt we have is our car loan. Um, so we are working towards kind of paying that off. Um, so this envelope has, let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 1, 2, 3, and 4. So nothing there that we can trade out. That is holidays. Let's see. And then this one... Oh, I think that one was good. Let's see. This one, I couldn't make any change with that. I was trying to keep these separated, but I guess I got distracted talking. Um, so this one has, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we'll put that one over there that we can come back to in case I need, in case I end up with change at the end with some smaller bills. Okay. So next up, I'm going to pull out my binder here. Let's see. I'll move these. These are good. All right. So, um, car has, let's see, one, two, three. Yeah. There's no change I can make with that one. So yeah. And, um, so we live, we live in North Carolina. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions about anything, please feel free to ask in the comments. And I'm happy to answer um, any questions you guys have. So that one had a 10 in it and there wasn't anything I can make change with for that one. Gifts should have right at 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So I'll pull out these two 10s and I will add a 20 in there. And this one is now fully funded so it's going to come out of 
here for this week's stuffing. Um, this one's empty. This one's empty. Let's see, taxes. Um, we have five, 10, 15. So I'll pull out two of these fives and I will add a 10. So we'll put those over to the side there. All right, so car insurance is next. It has one, two, three, four, five, ten. So we'll pull out this five and five ones and add a ten in that place. Okay, so next up is clothes. And let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and a few fives there. All right, so let's see, we've got 5, 10, 15, 20. So I'll pull those four fives out and add a 20. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five. Five? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll pull that out and we'll add a five in there. All right. So this one, let's see here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we can pull out five. One, two, three, four, five. And we will add a five in there. And these are my absolute favorite videos to watch. I just love seeing um, everybody trade out their cash. I'm not sure why I like these so much. <laughs> it's not like super exciting but they are my favorite videos to watch. All right, so this one, we've got one, two, three, four. We've got a couple of fives in there. Um, so I don't have anything I can trade out on that one. So I don't have any tens. So I'll just pull this one out and put it to the side. And if I have change um, at the end, I'll trade it out. All right, so the next one is activities. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So we've got some fives there and some ones. So we'll be able to trade out here. Let's see, five, 10, 15. One, two, three, four, five. So 20 there, and we'll add a 20 in. Okay, so birthdays is up next. And we've got one two, three, four, and three, five. So I don't have anything I can trade out there unless I end up with some tens. So I'll pull it out and put it to the side. If I get some tens, I'll trade it out. Okay, this one, I think it only has a couple dollars. Yeah, just one dollar in hair. And Dollywood has four dollars. Okay. So that is all I can do in this binder. So let me grab my game night binder. All right, so vacation. This one's gonna get moved this week um, over to our other binder. Uh, just haven't done that yet. So it only had $1 in there. Um, pool has one, two, three, four, five, and so I'm gonna pull these five ones out, one, two, three, four, five, and I will add a five here. Um, this is another one that I probably need a 10 for, but I don't think I'm gonna have any 10, so I'm just gonna leave it in here. Okay, land has, let's see here, um, five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, um, I don't have anything that I'm going to be able to trade out on that one. And some of these I do end up trading out each week um, just because I need change for my Friday night game night. So I usually end up pulling out something and putting a 20 in there um, just to kind of make it work. So I have change to do that. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll pull out five ones. Whoops and add a five. 
All right, so next up is a lawnmower. We've got one, two, three, four. So nothing to trade out there. I'm giving, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we'll pull this out and add in those two fives. So ten there. So next up is car tags. And there's a lot of ones in here, so we'll be able to trade something out, I'm sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Alright, so I'm just gonna double check and make sure this is 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. So, and I forgot to mention, I hope that everything looks okay. I hope that um, the brightness and everything is okay. I had to get a new ring light and a tripod. So the other day, after I finished my Friday video, we were getting ready to leave and I was kind of in a hurry. It was getting ready to rain and 10, 11, 12, 13. It was getting ready to rain and so I was trying to, I had my laundry outside on the clothesline and so I was gonna have to run out and get that and we were kind of in a hurry. We had somewhere we had to be. So I um, I'd asked my daughter, I was like, well, can you just unplug my ring light and I'm gonna go you know, get the stuff outside that I need to bring in the house. And um, when she went to pull the cord out of the, like, I don't know what it's called, the little thing that you, um, I guess it's like a USB connector or something. So when she went to unplug it, like, the whole cord, like, broke off in the thing. And um, so, yeah, I had to get a new, a new ring light. So hopefully everything looks okay. All right, so there's $13 here. So we'll pull out 10 and we'll replace that with two fives. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So one, two, three, and we'll add in two fives. So anyway, I feel like that this light is a little bit, um, lower but uh, hopefully it still looks okay okay so furniture one two three four five six seven eight nine so we'll pull out one two three four five of those and add in a five okay next up is a remodel one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'll pull out one, two, three, four, five, and add in a five there. And I don't know if I'll end up having smaller bills for that. Um, if I'll end up with a five for that one, I'll pull it out just in case. Um, and if not, you know, I won't worry about it. Electric has one, two, three, four, five. Um, let me pull that one out. And then this is just my star notes that I save in the back. All right, so I have one more binder to go through. Let me grab that. And these are my um, savings challenges. And I've been kind of slacking on these lately. Um, I'm hoping to get back on it um, this week, though. So, um, yeah, I kind of got off of doing them when we were on vacation. And I just haven't got back in the swing of things. So, I need to do that. Um, so, this is our 52-week saving challenge. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um plus two fives that's 17 so i don't have anything to trade out there so i don't have any more fives um let's see christmas it has all 20s in that one i know that okay 
so 26 weeks challenge. Let's see here. It's got a 5, 10, 15, so nothing to trade out there. And our 100 honeys challenge um, has 5, 10, so I don't have any 10s, so nothing to trade out with that one. And our penny challenge. Um, so two five. So I don't have anything to trade out there. All right. So we did pretty good. We traded out um, quite a bit. Um, yeah. So next time I will try to do like exact amounts. Um, but that's how many ones I was able to pull out, you guys. So that definitely helped. Um, to kind of condense everything down. So I'll be using this money in my cash stuffing this week. Um, that way I'll have money for my game night and um, some um, challenges. And then like whatever I have left over, I'm just going to put my spending envelopes and spend them. And that way, um, that way I get rid of those, all those ones. So um, thank you guys so much for tuning in for another video. And um, please don't forget to go over and check out um, the BCL channels this week. I know that they would really appreciate it. I have really appreciated um, all the support that I've got um, thanks to that movement. So um, thank you again, April, for putting that together. If you guys haven't checked out April's channel, um, go over and check out her channel. She is going to put together a round two. So if you weren't able to um, get in on round one, go over, watch her videos. Um, and yeah, you can enter to be on the round two. So I hope everyone has a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye.